also Rainbow Six Siege seems to be having some extra customization features being added in the future and uh, seeing as I have 200 hours in the game I figured it might as well be a good thing for me to cover. If you guys would like to see more Siege videos please let me know in the comments below because I would love to continue covering some of the information having to do with it and adding that into my mix of videos on this channel. Before I do get into that, however, I would like to do a little bit of self-promotion and implore you guys to please go over to my second channel that I made the other day and subscribe and show some support. Like the videos, you know, comment, give me your guys' opinions because that is why I do YouTube, is for the interactions. And at this point, that channel is actually going pretty strong. It's only been up for a few days and it's actually getting insane views on some of the videos in comparison to how many subscribers I have. But I would love for more of you guys on this channel to at least go over there and check it out. At the very least, go over, check out the videos, and decide whether or not you like them. They may not be the content that you guys are used to, however, the videos are pretty well made and a lot of people are enjoying watching the videos just for the editing that I put into them. So if you guys would go over there and check them out, I'm sure there's something that might interest you. For example, Pokemon Go, the new Android iOS game that's supposed to come out later this year that a lot of people are looking forward to because Let's face it, almost every single one of us played Pokemon as a kid, some of us continue to play it now, and everybody is going to end up wanting to get this app because it seems really cool and I have some information and some leaked gameplay over on the other channel that you guys might want to check out and see. Now back to the topic that I'm going to go over today having to do with Rainbow Six Siege. Some new customization features have been leaked having to do with it and they look pretty interesting and whether or not they're completely real I don't know at this point I'm kind of hopeful that it is. Most people who have covered this information seem to be pretty convinced that it is real but there are some fishy things here and there. So the story is that some Jukes video forum guy user decided to put something on the forum that said that he was sent a survey by the Rainbow Six Siege developers asking him if he would be willing to pay a certain price for these different customization features. The first of which was the ability to customize the mask of your character, putting a custom thing around his face, which in all honesty seems like a pretty cool idea. The image that is shown actually has the mask of Joe the Immortan from Mad Max Fury Road. Like, it's not something similar. It liter is literally straight up that mask. And this could mean that it was completely photoshopped and just fake and that this guy is lying through his teeth. However, this wouldn't be the first time that a video game has gotten partnered up with a movie series that's doing well and tried to get some iconic things in the game so that they can, you know, tie it in. So that they can have that cool little aesthetic added in that is related to something in pop culture that a lot of people are actually into. So this could be an example of that and if so, it seems really cool. However, however... They are wanting to charge four, maybe five, maybe ten dollars for this. I'm just gonna let that sink in for a second because that's pretty insane. Now I know a lot of people are fine with spending a couple dollars on a camo or something as long as it's not insane. Like for example the emerald skin or the cobalt skin on Rainbow Six Siege. You pay two dollars and you get it for every weapon in the game. That's a pretty good deal right there. However... If you're going to pay $10 for one mask on one character that you may or may not be able to use every other round, then I don't think that many people are going to want to do that. And I think a lot of people are going to be pretty upset that they have to do that. $4, I'll give you some slack on that. That's moderately okay, but I'm probably not going to spend that much money on it, but some people might. But why not just make it renown? Let's be honest. Many people out there have hundreds of thousands of renown saved up, including myself, and would be extremely happy to have some stuff that we can spend on it. I don't even care. Make the renown, make the mass cost 100,000 renown. That's better than charging me $4, okay? Because the renown, if you add something that costs a lot of renown that people are wanting to go for, that provides more grind in the game. And in the end, you're making more money on your game because people are putting more time than they normally would into the game. Because I know a lot of people go into the game, maybe spend a couple hours, hate it, and then quit. However, if you have those people get encouraged, they can spend their renown that they get on awesome things. They might just get sucked in purely by the aesthetics that you've added in. And then they might get their friends to play. Then you have more people playing, joining the game, and their friends, and their friends, and their friends. And it keeps going. But if you start charging people money for purely aesthetic things, especially $10 for a little mask then you're actually kind of shying people away from the entire idea of trying to play the game. So I'm hoping that they go about this the right way. Now the other things that they show off that you might be able to get 
as a customization feature in the game are some weapon charms, which are little things that you can put on the side of your gun that kind of hang off by a little piece of strap or a carabiner or something like that and it just kind of bobbles on your gun and it's a cool little thing to add there and they seem pretty cool the first one that it shows is a IQ little chibi figure kind of looks like a pop figure if I'm being honest and also you can add little tags on there like the one that's on this gun says keep calm and breach and clear and they're pretty cool little things nothing extremely impressive however the idea behind them is pretty cool because the closest thing I can think that we've seen in any game so far having to do with these little weapon charms are the stickers on CSGO so if this is Rainbow Six Siege's version of stickers then I think it would be a really cool thing but once again please make at least some of them cost renown you can maybe charge a few for some real life money just like in the camos there are some that cost renown some that cost real money and although a lot of people including myself aren't exactly happy about the cool camos costing money and the shitty camos costing renown at least that's better than making all masks and all weapon charms cost real money because i don't think a lot of people are going to want to pay that that's all for this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I hope you guys are looking forward to these new customization options and are also looking forward to me coming back and making some videos on some different video games. And also, go over to my other channel. Please check it out and show some support. That's all for this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you guys did, then please be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to hear your opinions on the subject in the comment section down below. But as always, this has been Lupus. And remember, stay gold.